So you really have to wait until it's completely like to pre batter. I think I think you should because it's hard to get that very dry flour uh, hydrated. Mm -hmm. mm. So. That looks very good now. It looks it's good. Fully incorporated. Mm -hmm. the, the batter has a lot of body. Mm -hmm. and now we just add the flavorings. And mm. that's two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Lemon and, extract. Excuse me. Lemon extract and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And always, always use uh, natural extracts, not imitation, mm -hmm. because it makes a big difference. Mm. Okay, that's done. It's mixed wow. up. Mm. And we need to do is prepare the pan. And I use a tube pan like this. It's a big cake, so it requires, it we can't make it in a loaf pan. Uh, I prefer them that are white, mm -hmm. and the nonstick ones are, of course, dark because of the nonstick finish. But I like a really thin crust, uh -huh. and I think the darker metal or surface conducts more heat. Um. <clears throat> so I think I really like a white one. And um, you can either grease it with Crisco and then uh, dust it with flour, or you can use Baker's Joy or some other kind of spray mm -hmm. application, which I prefer. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Just a spray? Yeah. So. The thing you need to spray them. Make sure you spray the most thoroughly is the tube part, this part, because no. that's where it'll stick if it wants to stick. Well, all right. That should do it. Now, let's take the batter out. When I put the cake in, I'll, I'll uh, pour it in while you turn the pan okay. and try to work on getting it even. Well, this is the batter off. Texture of the batter, see it's fairly stiff. It oh, seems it perfect. Great. And it, if, if the ingredients had been too hot, it would be a much thinner texture. But I think we're just right. Blot it in here as evenly as possible. A little bit faster. Sometimes it is. The temperature of the ingredients is forgiving to some extent. Then we do that. We'll do a little shake. And then you want to put it in a well preheated oven at, uh, since I'm going to cook this on convection, I'm going to do it at two, 290. Otherwise, I'd probably do it about 300. <laughs> slow oven. And you want it in the upper third of the oven. Okay. If you have it too low, it will cause it to brown more. Oh, so, upper third, so here we go to the oven. And there's the rack. And the middle. In an hour and ten minutes. Um, <clears throat> yeah. And then we'll just have to test it with a toothpick. <laughs> and we'll, we'll see. So, let's set the timer and do something else. <laughs> So no, it's a few more minutes. See, it looks a little bit wet, mm -hmm. and it's stuck to it. Okay. So let's give it another five minutes and try it again. <clears throat> All right. Pull it out, and you see it comes out clean. Mm -hmm. So the cake's done. Mm -hmm. Nice flat plate. <clears throat> Put it on top of the cake. Just turn it upside down all at once. Center it. Wow, look there at that. 
<laughs> that looks great. Not just fine. There we go. Wow, look how fluffy and moist. to just test the cake. You can take out a piece while it's hot like that and put it back together <clears throat> and no one will know the difference. I always <laughs> like to test them before I give them away to make sure that they're, that they're done, that they're good. Oh. <clears throat> it's such a big cake. <clears throat> so, give it a taste. Fabulous. <clears throat> mm, it's so fluffy. And right away, while the cake's still hot, you want to let it cool inside of a airtight container. Mm, that's <clears throat> delicious. And just store it at room temperature. Let me have a taste. That's How long does it stay good for? Oh, it'll last for two weeks. Really? Yeah, easily. <clears throat> wow. Mm. Mm. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. It's really fluffy. Taste that crust there. <laughs> wow, I'm, I'm speechless. 